What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part we basically did none of that um I gotta exit out my TV menu but um in the last part we beat the uh, sword enemy uh, he's called Mac in the original but I already forget what he's called in the remake so um in this part we're gonna go towards the Caro Caro sewers the Caro sewers because um now um Basically, we are going to go to the Kara Sewer. So, um, unfortunately, we're not level 6, but once we get to level 6, we'll learn a new move. So, um, that'll be nice. But, um, we're now in a completely new air part of the uh, map. So, uh, we're going to Kara Sewers. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for b whoever that is. So, it's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Anyway, so this is the Karo Sewers. Now, there's going to be water, which we can swim in. However, um... Yeah, we can't go underwater, unfortunately. And this isn't Mario 64. But, um... There's going to be some new enemies we can fight, let's just say. There's the Cheap Cheeps, but, uh... Yeah, there's these guys right here. There's new enemies, so, um... Oh, by the way, we this is our first time seeing it, but, um... Yeah, these are the special enemies. I did not get this in the first corner. It says, these are stronger than normal enemies, and every time you kill them, they'll award a frog coin. They were not in the original game. They're in this remake only, but I'm going to kill the rat fung first because they have a chance of running away. Well, sometimes they can uh, let you attack once again. Yeah, like that. So, um... Unfortunately, Mallow is still not equipped, and we cannot, uh... This is a new, uh, this is a new, uh, attack. So this is, a uh, fear, which lets us dra it drastically lowers our attack, so unfortunately we can only do half damage, but, um, yeah, they, they take more HP, they're overall stronger, these, uh, special enemies, but they, every time you kill them, they drop a frog coin. Frog coins are much easier to get in this game compared to the, than compared to the original. Oh, wow, Mallow's dead. Oh, we got easy to pick me up. They revive fallen party members, so, um, that's actually the first time I've seen a death of a party member. We actually lost our gosh powers combo, so, um... Yeah, and every time you kill a special enemy, you get a frog coin. You also, you don't get an XP boost, but, um... Now, um... Yeah, this rat's gonna block, but I... Oh, also new enemy! And also, these are poisoned! So basically, drastically lower... We drastically take damage as we, uh... Basically, we'd rather lose HP as turns go. Able juice or cleansing juice is what they're called in this version. Now, uh, cure status. And um, now, my goal is to get to level six so um, we can learn some new moves. Oh, by the way, new enemy. These are the booze. So um, now, if you have pure water in these. These ghost enemies can be killed instantly, let's say. We don't have, oh, we have a pure water. I guess we can kind of demonstrate it. With pure water, these guys can be killed instantly. I want to fight some more of these. Um, Now that was actually a special enemy. Now if we uh, take out this switch right here, the water's been drained. So um, yeah, the water has been uh, drained so we can actually um, go some more places. Uh, new enemy. These are the cheap cheeps, basically. Uh, I think they're weak to thunder, so um... That's it. They are weak to thunder, which makes sense, because they're they're cheap cheeps, but um... I guess I've been forgetting the psychopath, the, the thought peak these enemies, which I can do now, pretty much. Oh, a special enemy. I guess I can thought peek these guys. Yeah, lightning. We already tackled one of their weaknesses, so, um... One more hammer should kill this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of... We get three special enemies in one recording. I didn't get a single one in the last recording. I want to actually hold on a second. I think this is it. I want to find at least one star, which uh 
thinking, I think it's this area right here. Well, no, actually. I am legit lost because I want to go here. I think you actually, oh, hold on a second. It's actually right here. I know there's a star man around here. I'll cut till I find it. Anyway, so we're in a completely new area, but this is where we wanted to go. So, um, now I actually want to, um, take out this, tackle this guy over here. Now, um, this is a hot, this is a hot watt, but, uh, they're going to have a weakness to jump. And we don't do this, but, uh, let's just say we'll thought peak. They have 230 HP. They're only weak to jump. And they're going to throw a flame wall. Unfortunately, though, we don't know Super Jump yet. Oh, wow. If we'd actually, uh... If we'd actually missed that timing, we would have had the, uh... Oh, by the way, you can block Flame in this version. You can't in the original, let's just say. And we're almost to a level up. We got a flower jar out of that. Thank God. We got a true form pin, which we're going to be grateful. So if we get this, we won't be turned into Mushroom Scarecrow. I just, I just, I'd suggest equipping that to Mario. So, um... We're going to use a... Yeah, we're going to use a flower jar to get our FP back up. I guess we can Thought Peak these uh, guys right here. See what their weaknesses are. They're weak to fear, poison, sleep. We don't have any of those types of moves yet, but um. Oh yeah. All right, so we should be almost level. I want to get to level six before we fight the boss, though. Anyway, so I cut that battle of the video, so, um... I guess I can, um... I guess I can, um, basically, um, thought peek these guys, see what their weaknesses are. We're against Fire Fear, so I guess we can, uh, let them run away. Can we get their weaknesses down? Alright, so, let's just fireball them. I actually never knew, believe it or not, they're weak to fire, so, uh... Let's thought peek the, uh, hobling, the hobgoblin. Then we can jump, fear, and poison, and all that. I guess that's another weakness we can throw down. Again, I keep feeling the timing now. And is it enough for a level up? It's um not enough for a level up. By the way, you if you can keep as many pure water as possible, you can sell them for lots of coins, let's just say. Oh, well, that's what we want. Wait. Oh yeah, we both level up. Both Mario and Mario level up. So uh yeah, this is what I wanted. Mario reached level six and Mario learned super jump. And again, we're going to get physical up, and uh, with Mallow, he is uh, level 6, and uh, he doesn't learn a new move, but we're going to get magic attack up. And see if we're going to... Anyway, so, we got that out of our system, so, um... What we're going to do now is try to see if we can get our way to the boss, which, um... I don't remember exactly. I think actually I remember it now. We have to go down this pipe. We go down here. Yeah, I wanted to get to level six before I went to the boss, so um This must be B Loam. Is that a fire horse or his tongue? A hose or his tongue. Mo ho 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 rack is a snack attack, and you're it. Now, my strategy with b -Loam is to spam Super Jump. Now, there's a specific timing Super Jump. 
we want to get a super jump streak going on. So you want to get it. You want to press a right as you land from TPL. There's a very ignore the dog barking, by the way. But um, you want to push a right before Mario lands on a uh, B loam. So um, I did. I failed. I say that as I failed to do that. But um, we're gonna thought peak. Yeah, he's gonna have a weakness to thunder and all that. So I guess we want to have a uh, Mali's thunder and all that. So basically, um, you want to have Mario t hit the A button right when he's about to land. So like, there's a specific frame window. Yeah, after like jump 15, there's like a specific, a certain frame window. Yeah, I'm not very good. I gotta really grind out the super jumps because if you get for like uh if you get for like uh 30 if you go for 30 super jumps let's just say um first of all you need a honey syrup if you can get 30 super jumps you get a wet you get a wet you get a piece of armor which will be very beneficial if you get 100 super jumps you get more armor so and we've beaten b loam Must have been lying when he said he water wouldn't come gushing out of here. Or Mario, did you hear something or is it just me? Water, here it comes. We need to switch it for back for wash away. Anyways, so we're on a waterfall, and this is the um, this is the Metis River course. Want to cross course on it? Yes. You'll start off first with falls. Use the L to move. Use the L stick to move left and right and score coins. Push B to make uh, you swim upwards. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna go. Uh, you want to get the frog. Every time you see frog coins, you want to get those. Frog coins are much easier to get in the remake than they are in the original because of the special enemies and all that. Also, if you go in the holes, you can get a little scenes like this. And there's eventually there's gonna be a spring that puts us back on course. Hold on, I wanna get that frog. I want that frog coin! I want that frog coin! I want that frog coin! I'm going to swim my ass upward till I get the frog coin, okay. We want the frog coin. Go in the hole. Anyway, so once again, he springs gonna go back on uh, springs gonna take us back on course. So we'll get a, we'll get the frog coins over here. We can easily score a few plus every time you get sixty coins or more. You can keep going back and get sixty coins and keep racking up on frog coins also. Get the frog coin, Mario. Come on, I'm gonna keep swimming my ass upwards until I get the frog coin. I don't think I usually get this many frog coins. Oh, we're gonna get a flower. Oh, 
Oh yeah! Anyway, so this is the second part of the medium server course. This is the uh, the barrel jumping event. Means opponents, yes. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump on the next part before they collide. Missing, you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're right, so I'll stand your way. Also, I have to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you lose coins. Alright, so I think I know. Yeah, you wanna. Um, I think there's some areas that have the most coins like that. You can kind of like, again, you can keep coming back here and just gain coins so you can keep racking up on frog coins. I missed the four coins, but um, And the music's gonna get faster eventually. No, the fish is sneaking up on me. Go away! Okay, good. Go! Come on. I definitely think we got at least 60 coins, but uh, we'll double check. They, get, they, t they tell you how many coins you get afterwards. I missed a few four stack. Oh, fuck! I don't get any, uh, if, I don't get, if I don't reach the 60 coins that's all I'm blaming that fish. Yeah, 50. Yeah, if I would have had if I didn't get the 50. If I didn't get the uh, 50 coin. But anyway, we get the uh, we get picked up. We get the Koopa shell, which uh, is a step up from the hammer. And again, Mal doesn't have any armor yet, but uh, weapons yet. But uh, yeah, the Koopa shell is going to get up our attack. However, anyway, so we're gonna go to Tadpole Pond now. Mallow said that his grandfather had information, so this is a tadpole pond. Hey, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Beelom, right? You know about that. See, Mario, the waterways of the world would be bringing news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that fits to here. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody, let me guess who's here. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a frog, you know, if that's only a rumor. However... Well, well, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. The only someone we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Welcome, so you are Mario, yes, I'm the Frog Sage. You've come to seek wisdom for me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, why old pe wise people often give me good advice. But how rude of me. Let me get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear, full reverse. Cat bolts, don't just float there. Make sure yourself use a former bridge for Mario. So yeah, we have to jump across the tadpoles and speak to Frog Fuchsius, or Frog Sage. He was called Frog Fuchsius in the original, but um, yes, come to my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That's when the character appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, wish to rescue the princess. Quickly do you not. But uh, oh, 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 if you only know the truth. Peach is no longer there. Patient Gen 1, let me explain. Here's what happened. You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, you were able to defeat the princess. You heard a loud crash. You saw a huge sound sword split the sky. Woo, shout out of the blue. The shock sent three of you flying. Bowser and Peach are still lost somewhere out there now. Worry about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wrecking havoc in our world. Clay Morton, who you feel Mushroom King was one of them, more will be coming. 
Grandpa, most fun kids have weird. So I found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom Castle. Do you know why I was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. It may sound illogical, but I believe some of the shooting stars can grant wishes. Now more than ever, I believe it will pay a viral in the fight against Smithy. Is that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Uh, no. It's quite a situation we have in our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Claymore was the first of many Mario. Some of them will take, make Bowser seem nice. Mal, you must speak of these things directly to you. You will accompany Mario in his adventure, too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. The adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but you're not a tadpole. They what? I was sitting here one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets when I happened to see a basket floating out from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring at me right at the back and the name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt so sorry for the bundle of puffs, so I took him to raise my own grandchild. He had power from magic, so I knew he was more than a piece of pluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario and his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. Boy's magic is going to come in handy, your adventure. Take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure and find my Mario and find my real family. Now, yeah, Sally, you must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose and need your help. Now, if we talk to him again, Sniffle, we'll be quite, we'll be quiet right here with Malgo. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I forgot all about it. I'll give you something for the cricket if I brought back. Uh, I know, you shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. Froggy stick will come in handy. Don't forget to equip it. And we get the froggy stick, which is the first bit of, uh, which is the first bit of, a uh, weapon we can get from Mallow. So, um, there was actually one last thing I wanted to do in Tadpole Pond. It's one side quest we can do. It's, uh, the Tadpole Pond songs. Now, let's just say some of these can be pretty vague and hard to figure out. If we talk to this guy, I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as to Todofsky. My favorite song. It's the Frog Sage Suite number 18. So la mi re do re do re. So um um yeah, so if you don't know like uh the kind of if you don't know the kind of vocal exercises and all that, let's just say um the, like the uh, the best way I can describe it is the right the ones on the right of the lower notes, like the do re mi fa so la re mi do and all that. Um they don't make it clear on which uh, do, which the higher do or the lower do is um, the one or all that. So um, because of that, I'm actually going to be using a guide that actually helps me with all this. But um, yeah, they don't make because there's two do's in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the vocal pitching and all that. That's why I'm going to look it up basically. So um, I'll see you guys in a second. So yeah, the first song goes like this. Hold on a second, I just gotta wait till it actually goes right here. And, um, it actually goes like this. That's it. That's the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this token of my gratitude. We got the Alto card, which lets us uh, buy some drinks in the Tadpole Pond shop. And I'm gonna cut it off for this part of Super Mario RPG. So next time it's Super Mario RPG, we're gonna venture outward and see what we see how farther out we can go with uh, Mallow and our team. See you guys then.